Okay, today is a whole new adventure. We are in Round Top, Texas, playing Festival Hall. This is just an outbuilding here, but this property where this venue is, is absolutely unbelievable. Things are going good. This is our last gig in Texas. Um, we'll be heading off to Lafayette, Louisiana and starting the, the rest of the Southern tour, ending up in Virginia, I believe. There's the band and crew bus sitting over here. But I've never been here before. All the years I've been touring, I've never even heard of this place. And I just, uh, we just arrived and I walked in. I've never seen anything like it. It's unlike any hall I think I've ever played in. You know, so I'm not gonna say any more. I'm just gonna let you see it as I saw it. Yeah. Setting up for some food out here. Before we go in, I'm just going to walk around these little outer hallways here. Jim, 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 Jim Cox, Jim Cox Vocal. Jim Cox Vocal, hey, 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 hey. Jim Cox Vocal, one, two, one, two, hey, hey. It's great to even hey, have. Hey, hey, yep, Jim Cox Vocal. Cookies. So, but apparently all this mill, mill work was done by one guy over the course of 40 years. All of the woodworking. Okay. Check this out. Leland, Leland vocal, Leland vocal, because I'm, hey, one, two, yep, yeah, 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 one, two, one, two, Terry vocal, I mean, uh, Leland vocal.
But of course. But of course. But of course. Uh huh. Here's the Lyle view of tonight. Good for an outdoor so This is all in my... Seats are just gorgeous. The upholstery, all the finish work. Hey, Lila. Yeah. You wanna do this and I'll hold the camera? Huh? You wanna check it and I'll hold the camera? No, I don't care about the bass. This is more important. You're rocking. This is unreal. It's hard to see this, it's all in glass. James Dick Foundation for the Performing Arts, the International Festival Institute at Round Top. swag room tonight. Unreal. Just unbelievable. Everything up on the ceilings. I know. Oh really? David Guyan's family uh, donated or willed, whatever you want to say. Our last day, our last day. I mean, we own Home on the Range. Yeah, we get like $40 a year from Japanese karaoke wow. bars. <laughs> wow. In royalties, that's about it. But it's really sweet, this room. Oh, I'll bet. I'll see if I can get a key to it. Yeah, it's the old thing where you hang from the... Uh... In the bathroom. This work is just incredible. Let's go upstairs to see what's.
nice little spot for you to brew through. And it's like, oh, yeah, sweet spot in there. Let's go up another flight and I can... Oh, they've got that... It's locked up right now. Whoa. I mean, just these doors here that go out to the to the boxes. And it's just just fabulous. I mean, this, this has been here a long time when I look at this no color. I mean, it's just so beautifully done. This is why we carry a real piano on the road, not an electric. There's nothing like the sound of piano.
chair was unbelievable. Downstairs. Back to where the cookies are. Over there. This is probably the people coming in tonight. Maybe had, this is maybe a VIP thing or something. The piano sounds so great. I was filming oh, you yeah, up there. Oh, wow. I mean, that's what this is all about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, God. It's wow. just stunning. It's amazing. Yeah. That's probably one of the nicest venues I think I've ever played. I mean, you yeah. look at this in the Albert Hall and a yeah, few of these yeah, places, yeah. but this is right on par with them. Yeah. The attention to detail. How come we never heard of this place? <laughs> I've never heard of it. And I'm looking and there's like Noel Coward was yeah. here. I mean, it, like, the history is like unbelievable. Really, something. I, the idea of turning that amp on really horrifies yes. me. <laughs> so we've got our faux marble. It's all painted. This is real down below, but this is wood. Here's the security team that's so keeping an eye on us so that we don't steal. What you? What are you doing here? Just looking at this marvel of. It, isn't it unbelievable? Of Texas here. Yeah. Incredible. This is really. Just met the guy who built it all. Yeah. He's a, Did you interview him? He's no, I I, 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 I met him when I we first came in. Larry. Yeah. He's been here forty years. Yeah, it's so unbelievable. Not, it's not Well, they're just not taking the amount of bottom. Yeah. And the other thing I can do, which I've just this is done, our dressing room area. Yeah. And you'll see if I don't it, know how good a shape these are in. Or well, what you got old. there, Danny? Yeah. Re -ups. I'm not sure if these are going to be worth a damn or not. I did have re ups. Look at this. I mean, there was re ups. This, yeah. The carnage. Guys, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know what you were wearing. But, but everybody in Nashville has got those uh, 60 floors now. 64 years. I'm gonna do this. Yes, yes, yes. It's because like a hip hop video. I got now. special instructions from someone. <laughs> Such a rebel. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I was telling. I um, I've just been with April and Lyle, mm -hmm. and I, I was saying, you know, how I'm excited. I said, well, but the one person I'm wanting my photo with is Leland. And I said, because everybody who I talk to goes, he is such a sweetheart. And April goes, do this. I went, what? <laughs> I did not Absolutely. know. Absolutely. It's a sign of love. So you're number one. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> well, let's, we'll get a picture and together. We'll right? get one at some point. Yeah, I'm just and walking around here just kind of. I want also. If we, I'm going to open up the shades for you so that you can see. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Thank and you. And I'd also like to get you in the Guyan room. We have David Guyan's piano and hat. Oh, God. And do you know who he is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we still get 15 cents every time someone plays Home on the Range because he left us his life estate. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm going to get the key and 
So, okay, special events staff. <laughs> you guys. Let me focus here. I'm so excited. I'm excited about you too. <laughs> oh, there they are. Come in the faux painting. There are 10,000 stacked diamond shapes using this. Oh, God. This is the gentleman who did all of this work. Oh, great, great. So Thank you. You wanted to see what it looks like normally. Oh, here we go. It's actually kind of a bad time of day, but. Oh, uh, it's fabulous. Before you go any farther. I'm sorry? I'll tell you what, do me a favor. Yeah. Would you introduce yourself and give a little information about what we've got going on here? <laughs> okay, I'm Jeff Hepp. Uh, I've been here for about 15 years. This is Roundtop Festival Institute. Of course, it is a theater and uh, educational area for classical music uh, uh, musicians from all over the world. And we have a festival that lasts six weeks in the summer. And that's, you know, that was the the reasoning and the purpose for being here mm -hmm. and for building this hall. Um, when was the hall first started construction? Actually, it was started in the mid-80s. R really? Yeah, it was made to look old. and uh, Not in a million years would I have thought this was from the eight, yeah. started in the 80s. And it probably took about 20 years to finish it, per se. And when I say per se, because there's yeah. parts of it that could still need either version two or finish off of version one. Yeah. Um, but it was all hand-built here uh, by the people who worked here. I'm going to go open the guy in room two. Okay. I just uh, had that open. <laughs> I lost Lean and he left. Uh, but yeah, go ahead. It's it's locked back up again. But if you want to go and see where, uh, you know, Home and Range <laughs> museum room is it's 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 kind of funny so that's in the bag well no thanks for, for this info sure. that blows my mind that this was from the it started in the 80s i would have thought this was started maybe in the teens or around the turn of the century keep, I mean, that's that's a common thing people come here and, and say you know how old is it when they, they hear the 80s they're like what you can see a little bit along the hallway yeah, there, yeah. There's some photos of its early days, yeah. and that was like 70s. You can see all okay. the, because uh, because it feels in here. I mean, there's parts of this that feel like some of the areas like I've been in in, in like um, Scandinavia, and that but there's other Moorish feels and all of this. I mean, the the, the eclectic quality of, it's, of this it's, is it's a melange of cultures. Uh, they drew from this Celtic thing mm -hmm. there's actually some references to the uh, Lord of the Rings wow. uh, that they drew from uh, they, they pulled from a lot of different places they were really just sponges That's... for things that they liked and then of course Larry and the crew had to slap it all together and make it work together Well, the, the... And plus they had a lot of stuff that they were given or they found like things like this that they had to sort of like, fit in and... yeah and if you see on stage like above the doors, yeah. things there, and also in the back of the stage. Yeah. There's like these ram's heads, yeah. and it looks very satanic. And you're like, where did these come from? Yeah. And they're like, oh, we can't tell you. Well, the thing is, the music that comes here is eclectic, so why shouldn't the facility be yeah. eclectic? Yeah, and it's, it gets wackier if you go down like on the plaza, because you'll have <laughs> statues of saints next to statues no, of pagan gods, oh. uh, because this the person who was lot. sort of so in charge of that this was, was a man named Richard first. Royal. And no, he actually, had this, another one. The pony on the uh, Let's go in here and you can explain the room he too. Had, he had a monumental 
sort of sense of humor about the universe. And he, he you know, some people will get actually angry when they see the different cultures kind yeah. of mashed up. Yeah, some people get that yeah. bug so. <laughs> And that was his design. He wanted to challenge people's dogmas and say, okay. Good for him. You know, just because we've got St. Peter and St. Paul over here doesn't mean we can't also have Bacchus over here. Yeah. You know? Uh -huh. yeah, this is the guy who we own, as I mentioned, uh, Home on the Range and Turkey in the Straw. And 15 cents, we get royalties. We get 15 cents every time it's played, uh -huh. or is it oh, per year? That's about what they roll. Oh, that's yeah. great. It's and considering you probably have a Scandinavian background, correct? Um, no. Actually, Russian Polish. Oh, okay. Now, here, because Sklar's. Yeah, it, it goes are, both ways. Are here in our. I used to buy quilts from Mrs. Sklar, and that was. Uh, Czech, probably Moravian. Okay, because the thing that's weird is like in it, like in Scandinavian, like you would see sklar, but like maybe double A with an umlaut Off on it. it yeah. But it means exactly the same thing in Russian as it does there, which is glass blower. Is is like with Johnson sklar? Is a yeah, say, I'm a Johnson. The mirrored museum room is the Oxen Hoofed room, which is a Swedish family that donated. We need their info stuff. on the Wi-Fi. For okay. Look at this! Look at this little circular stairwell going up. <laughs> it's just so incredible. This is so great. Schoolhouse, which is right across the way there, it's that ugly sort of mustard building. That mm -hmm. actually was the black schoolhouse. Oh, okay. This wow. So, and what was the log cabin down there? That's where I started this filming. Log cabin that down? Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, it was a donor, a long time early supporter. He uh, gave some money when they were just sort of building out the place. And his only condition was that we uh, build a house like he he grew up on, on Lake Michigan, I think. Oh, wow. And that's why it's very out of place for everything else. It's very not Texas. Well, it's a lot It's a lot of property, too, so you yeah. can have things scattered around like that. Yeah, exactly. Wow, look at this stuff he wrote. This is just so fantastic. Oh, it's a wonderful room. I am just... Do you want a little history yes, sheet? Yes, please, as much as... Uh, hey, introduce yourself, so I'm filming this for my oh, network. Oh, my name's Lamar Letts. I'm sorry. Lamar, it's This a is a little information about David Guyon and the history of the room. Okay, and great. these panels tell his life story yeah. um, as it goes through each of them. This is just... Phases. Unbelievable. It's a wonderful, wonderful. And the poster, for example, Prairie Echoes, mm -hmm. um, that's the original linen poster from the New York show from the 1930s. Oh, how great. And it's interesting because if you notice, it says 32 Roxy Etts. And that was the old Roxy Theater. Mm -hmm. And then Roxy builds Radio City Music Hall and built and moves the Roxy Etts who become the Rockets. The Rockettes, yeah. It changes the name. That's still one of my favorite venues in the, oh, in the world of play. I've played there many times now. And it's just... Well, let me, if you want to take oh, this... Oh, I would love to can, take that. take a photo of it. Or, no, I'll take this and... Uh, but feel free to... I, I'm oh, I'm just, having the greatest time here. I'm just checking signs. People here are great. 
I guess I'd better feign some professionalism and get to work. When we finish here, maybe I'll go on around the grounds and do a part two. I'll see what our time is like and everything. I'm still in total shock that this started in 1980. I would have sworn this was turn of the last century. It's amazing as it was started in 1980, they started building this. I just can't believe it. And the hardest working man in show business, right here, Terry. Don't tell anybody. It's our, a secret. Our, our secret. 